Zyman Airlines. Shyman. Shaman? Zayman. Shyman. Sh Shyman Airlines. Shaman. Ooh, yeah. This is going to be difficult. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sand Spotter video. This time I'm back at LAX checking in for Shyman Airlines flight number 832. You guessed it, Shyman. Zayman? Shyman? Uh, I'm never gonna get this right. Anyway, I was still feeling nervous after watching Josh K. Hill's video about his terrible experience on this airline, so yeah, I was feeling mixed emotions as I was standing in line to check in. Shyman Airlines is part of the Sky Team Alliance, so all business class passengers on this airline have access to the amazing Korean Air Lounge located on level 5 in the Tom Bradley International Terminal. I hadn't eaten since noon today, and since it was now past 8pm, I made a beeline straight to the food. My sincerest apologies to the chef for eating like a pig. Embarrassing would this have been if the lounge manager approached me as I was stuffing my face and asked me to save some food for the other guests? Yep, I was just a little bit hungry. I've flown out of the Tom Bradley International Terminal many times since the redesign a few years ago, and overall, it's amazing. However, this was the first time that I had the opportunity to see firsthand what the downstairs bus gates are like. The best way I can describe the feeling is like walking into a barn at a horse show. Don't ask me why, it's just what it felt like. For those who aren't familiar with LAX, these remote gates are just temporary and will only be used until the international terminal expansion is complete. Does anyone happen to know how I can sign up to be part of the demolition crew that'll be responsible for tearing down these buildings? I think I want in on that. Business class here on these Shyman Airlines 7879s is blue, I mean really nice. I'm actually a really big fan of the multiple shades of blue they use throughout their entire brand language, and it's one of the better looking Chinese airline color schemes in my opinion. Although, do color schemes really matter when our scheduled departure time is after midnight and I'm gonna sleep all the way to China anyway? Probably not. So what's the verdict on cold towels instead of hot? I personally prefer the hot towels, but I have to wonder if I'm in the minority. The flight attendants came by with drinks just as I was admiring the legroom in these seats and, well, water please. Shishi. Want to know what's really frustrating? Working hard to set up a shot of me opening the amenity kit only to realize that it's just the noise canceling headphones. Ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the amenity kit. Organized neatly for your viewing pleasure, though I do need to cut this a bit short and make a dinner selection. This looks really good, doesn't it? Anyway, I already knew that I was going with the Chinese option, even without looking at the choices, but it's still fun to thumb through a menu and pretend to be interested.
Eastern time is 25 minutes after midnight and we're just pushing off the gate for what's going to be a 14 hour journey across the Pacific Ocean tonight. Although, these flights don't even go out very far over the water actually. Up the coast of North America, across Alaska, and down into Russia. I think my brain was upset that I was joyfully playing with slippers when I normally would have been sleeping two hours ago. Sorry buddy, it's time for a stupid movie and thousands of delicious calories. As expected, for such a late night departure, the cabin service was Fast and Furious. Which, oddly enough, was the movie I chose to pair my meal with. <laughs> it was definitely a bit late for a full meal, I know, but... Would you turn this down? My lack of culinary skills means that I'm not the most qualified when it comes to judging the quality of other people's food. But I'm going on record as saying that the food on Shyman Airlines is delicious. It was fresh, extremely flavorful, and most importantly, far beyond anything I could whip up for myself at home. And trust me, that's important. Well, dinner is over now and it's, oh wait, let's do another take of that because it's gotta look good for the video and I don't wanna come across as looking like a complete idiot. Just gotta push it in a little bit further, just like that. Good enough? Well, it's gonna have to be. Now it's just a matter of getting footage of myself settling in for a long night of sleep and my trip reporting duties will be done for the night. If I can ever get this blanket unfolded. If you're the kind of person who could get 10 hours of rock hard sleep on the sidewalk in the middle of Times Square in New York during rush hour, I envy you in ways you can't even imagine. Despite this being a 14 hour overnight flight, I slept horribly. Like an overexcited six year old on Christmas morning, horribly. I do need to say that my lack of sleep had nothing at all to do with the seat, or bad food that kept me up all night wondering how much longer I had to live. Nope, it was entirely my fault. The excitement of the trip, getting footage for the video, trying to figure out how to pronounce Shyman, it was all too much and I just couldn't shut down. There's an hour of flying time remaining now, and I've given up all hope of getting any meaningful sleep on this flight. I've also accepted the fact that I'll never learn to fold large blankets with any amount of style and grace. It's hopeless. The only thing left to do was to mull over my failures to the beat of some groovy multicolor mood lighting, which ended up being just the thing I needed to cheer me up since I knew it was gonna make for some awesome B-roll in this video. Despite some of the negative things I've heard about Shyman Airlines before this flight, I was really impressed by this cabin crew. Yeah, there was a bit of an awkward language barrier, but I found this to be a world-class crew offering world-class service. As a matter of fact, I found it to be much better than my China Airlines business class flight from Beijing to Los Angeles several years ago. Although I'm still not sure if I'm pronouncing Shyman. Finally, 
a big fat thanks to all of you who watched this video all the way to the end. As a reminder, subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button lets me know you want to see more content like this, which is great because I have a lot of fun making these videos. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm also going to keep working on my pronunciation of Shaman. Shaman? Zayn? Shaman?